think artificial general intelligence is extremely hard. I think it will take, I, I'm taking the over on 20. If I set I'll, the line I'll at take, 20. Yeah, I'll set the line at 20 is a fine line. But I'll take the over on these people who think, oh, we're going to have artificial general intelligence and singularity in five years. You know, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. Um, we don't know. You don't know. I mean, that, I mean, that's really the answer is I don't think like we know exactly what, what is going on. I, I actually am extremely happy that there is a large group of extremely smart people at least joining together to talk about this stuff and try and figure it out. Right. Um, the impact on jobs is uh, the one that I think probably will have the most impact on our society in the short to midterm. Uh, I think the person running the Treasury of the United States said that AI will not impact jobs for another 50 to 75 years was the quote. So um, I think we're all taking the under there. <laughs> what impact will this have on, I won't give you the easy one, which is self-driving retail and that kind of stuff. We know that's going. But let's go into the white collar jobs, law, accounting, sales, yeah. you know, marketing, I don't know, Here. you know, just stuff in the middle. Here's my thesis on this. Yeah. A automation, I'm not going to call it artificial intelligence, but like, you know, hardcore automation will have an impact on every aspect of jobs. However, since I'm going to take the over on most, you know, people in Silicon Valley's estimate on when we're going to have artificial general intelligence, my belief is that jobs that deal with human caring or human to human communication or that are going to accelerate rapidly. I think being a nurse practitioner uh, or a nurse or whatever is going to accelerate rapidly in terms of job demand. Humans were, are going to like to talk and be communicated with by other humans for a very, very, very long time in that regard. Alexa, you don't think that's going to be the solution? Not, not when, it, come, talk not to when it comes to, yeah. no, not when it comes to certain things that you actually, you didn't want some human connection there. All right, so these are massive returns for a small number of LPs, and society has a massive polarization of wealth yeah. issue. Um, and in fact, we're all participating in what is this amazing you know, returns machine, which is technology companies and being there in the early stages of them and having access to their cap tables and participating in a major significant way in them. How do you think about the polarization of wealth in our country to start? Uh, because it does seem to be getting better for other countries because they were in abject poverty and they're getting out of it. But in our country, the polarization is getting very severe. It caused the election results. Your partner, the founder of your firm, is you know, pro-Trump, which is very weird for us all to understand, but we'll put that aside. When looking at the polarization of wealth, um, how do you think about that in society and solving that because you have folks running around saying we just got to go universal basic income are you a fan of that or do you think raising minimum wages or education or do you think we're just the situation is fucked well i mean i think the situation is really difficult um i'm a consummate optimist um i've actually won a lot of money betting things against people who are complete pessimists on the world, um, I do think this is gonna be a challenge for a very long time. I think it is currently a huge challenge. I think you know, one of the things we are trying to do is you know, use technology to make everybody's lives better. Like when I sit on the board of things like old school, old school is not meant to be a private school for the wealthy. It's meant to make it so that you can have a scalable, good education for everybody using technology as a catalyst to drive that. Um, and so a lot of things we do are trying to get to the point where, hey, everybody has access to, you know, top quality things. It's going to be a long road there. I mean, this is not, this, this, that's not going to change anytime. Whether the solution is UBI or whether the solution is something with the arts of the current minimum wage, I'm not, I have not focused enough on those things to know what the answer is. All I am, what I am ruthlessly focused on is investing in these companies that I do think can make life better for everybody, like, that's, that's my part in this. Hey everybody, let me tell you about an amazing website that I love and use regularly. It's called Capterra, Capterra, C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A. -R -R -A. I always feel like it's a good idea to spell it because you might be listening, you're driving, you're running. You need to know, Capterra.com. It is a website where you can find software 
that your business needs. You ever have this? God, I need a new piece of software. I need some mail server software. I want to get a better price on my mail server. I need a website or I need CRM or I need sales software. You know, you always need some software. And you know what? There's so many different applications out there today in so many different categories that wouldn't it be nice if there was a website that could help you sort through it, like Yelp, but for software, for business software. Well, that's Captera. Thousands of ratings and reviews from actual software users, and it's such an easy-to-use website. They have 400 categories of software to choose from, over 400. And whether you need help with website building or customer service project management, maybe you want to track applications or figure out your email marketing, millions of people use Captera every month, and Using Captera is absolutely free for users. There's no obligation. You don't need to register. It's a free resource that will help you make the right software decisions. And we all know, if you make a wrong decision about your software, what's going to happen? You spend all this time, all this money, and you have everybody trained up, and then you made the wrong decision. You got to rip it out, start over. Everybody's got to get trained again. New user handles, all this kind of nonsense. You want to get it right on the first try. Go to captera.com slash twist. Cap terra.com slash twist. C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A dot com slash twist. Find the software that will help you do what you do better. That's all they want to do at Capterra. They want to make you more successful. So go ahead and visit capterra.com slash twist. Thanks again to our friends over at Capterra for making a great website and a great directory that's super helpful and for supporting independent media like this week in startups. We truly appreciate it. 